Chance, chance. That Matt Kenny would not be charged with murder, with the murder of Tony Robinson. Many of us were not surprised when that decision came. In fact, it seemed like all of Madison was preparing for a non-indictment. Why is that? Are we all just psychic? Why did we all know? It's always been like that. We know from the historical and the present experiences of black folks right here in Dane County. Everything around us tells us that black lives don't matter. When we step outside our door and we see the police, when, we, when our kids go to school and they encounter more police, when they are criminalized and suspended and put in detention for normal, normal child behavior, at disproportionate rates. When we are incarcerated at 11 to 1, arrested 11 to 1, that's how we know he wasn't going to be indicted. Everything around us tells us that our lives have no value. We are here to say no more. Say no more. No more. No more. We were reminded of this two years ago when a pre Paul 18-year-old black girl was murdered. Her killer has yet to be charged with murder. Everybody say shame. Shame. Say shame. Shame. And we were reminded yesterday when the district attorney announced that Matt Kinney would not be charged for killing a young man, a child, who needed some mental wellness services. And so because we all knew, all of us knew, because we had no trust in the justice system. That is why YGB demands a UN investigation into the killing of Tony Robinson. Yes. We also demand community control over the police. We should have a say at how we are policed. We should have a say in the policies and practices that the police follow. We should have a say as to whether or not Somebody like Matt Kinney, somebody who has killed before, will be hired. Chances are we had community control over the police. Matt Kinney probably wouldn't have got the job. That's right. And Tony would have been alive today. No justice.